Okay, we've got angles in parallel lines. Um, so we're working out x. This is giving us all the information that's already on the diagram. So we'll check it. A, B, C is a straight line. D, E, F, G is a straight line. The parallel lines are marked with these arrows. These two are equal. They're marked with the two lines. And angle B, E, F, this one here is 50. We're going to work out x. And we've got to give reasons for every stage. And we know that's important because there's a star there. So first things first, um, we've got an isosceles triangle. So the two angles at the base of an isosceles triangle, so the two ones underneath those lines, in this case, look like that. The two ones at the base are equal. So this is 50. So this one is also 50. So we have to write down the reason. So we go E, B, F. So E, B, F is 50 degrees. 50 degrees because angles at the base of an isosceles triangle are equal. Are equal. Then we're going to say this one here, um, BFE, BFE. We've got a triangle here, and we know the angles in a triangle are up to 180 degrees. So we've already got 100, 50 plus 50, so we need another 80. Because angles in the triangle add to 180 degrees. So this is 80 degrees. And then we look at our parallel lines and we've got alternate angles. So there's a Z shape. This Z shape here means the angles are alternate. So X is also 80 degrees because alternate angles are equal. And that's the question finished.